God's best man. Return, faithless people, declares the Lord, for I am your husband. I will choose you one from a town and two from a clan and bring you to Zion. Then I will give you shepherds after my own heart who will lead you with knowledge and understanding. As Christians, we are married to God. The church is the bride of Christ. If the church is the Lord's betrothed and Jesus is the bridegroom, then the pastor of the local church is the bridegroom's friend, AKA God's best man. In biblical times, it was sometimes the best man who arranged the whole affair between the bride and the groom. And in the same manner, it is the pastor, God's best man, who through teaching and preaching has introduced us to the Lord. Paul said it like this in Romans 10 and 14, how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without a preacher? God's best man is a gift from God's heart. God said that he will give pastors after his own heart. The church, the bride, doesn't choose the best man, but just confirms him. God was in the past, looking into the future, which is now the present. And he knew what the church needed even before she needed it. And so he sent his servant, a shepherd after his own heart, his best man. God's best man is a God for God's people. God said that he would give shepherds after his own heart that would lead his people. God's best man is a leader. He has influence with God's people. He values people. He loves people. He lives in such a way that his life is worth emulating and following. He lives according to what Paul said. Follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. God's people look to God's best man for godly guidance. God's best man is a guru of God's word. God said that he would give us shepherds after his own heart who would lead us with knowledge and understanding. The dictionary says that a guru is an intellectual or spiritual leader, any person who counsels or advises. Pastor Clark guides us and gives us direction, advice and wise counseling for our daily dilemmas. God's best man's knowledge and understanding and wisdom comes from the word of God. 2 Timothy 2 and 15 says, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Typically when we think of a guru, we think of an expert. Well, after 40 years of study, studying, praying, preaching, and pastoring predominantly African Americans, God's best man is a guru of God's word. Pastor G.B. Clark is God's best man.